Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth.
City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time. The but... statement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat, I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. It has to stop. I uh, never got a chance to congratulate you. That's quite the acceptance speech. Oh, yeah, thanks. I know you weren't thrilled about me getting back out there so soon. So I'm glad I didn't listen to you. Well, it's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? I have reason to believe you're being watched. You sound paranoid, Bruce. The children of Arkham are hacking into the GCPD. They're likely keeping tabs on you, too. I'll handle it. Thank you, Bruce. Children of Arkham, jump me! God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it! I heard Batman showed up to help. Yeah, not too late. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. 
Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark. Checkpoints at every bridge. Mandatory identification cards. 24th. You're acting strange, Hart. This whole city's acting strange! Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I, I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out, or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Bill. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. 
You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some... connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale, think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. Just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... They're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This depot is pretty centrally located. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. 
Thousands of people go in and out every hour. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Easy access. The train car was raised to make working beneath it easier. They wanted to get this done fast. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. <sighs> Looks like she's working with them again. I thought they were after her. Yeah, me too. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. 
It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready. Move up. thing is, they don't even see the smoke. You do a lot of talking. Not sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. Just like the other liars. <laughs> Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? 
Just don't move. I'm fine. I just need to get back out. That might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I wasn't there to save you. I thought you'd gone back over to their side. You thought you were gonna take me out, did you? Well, if I had to. Good luck. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. T cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see. Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. I was hoping for something more than that.
I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Rise and shine. Not yet. I'm starving. Well, I guess that means I'm making breakfast. Wow. You even know how to work a toaster, rich kid? I am offended. Oh, too bad. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything before you think about putting it in your mouth. <clears throat> Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... if you were... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Yeah, um... That's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. <laughs> right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating chunk. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's... academic. She can afford to eat anywhere and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. They could use something like this. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. 
How did she get in? <sighs> Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Ah. Harvey. Hey. I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe this! Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? I shouldn't have come. None of this is about you, Harvey. It's... I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I can handle the children of Arkham. Of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course, I gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me! The call's already been made! Harvey! Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone! You know we can take him out! <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No! <sighs> Harvey! 
You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Oh, Bruce. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Just let me talk to him. You don't know what you're doing. He needs a professional. Please. All right. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. You're just gonna take off. Where will you go? I don't know. Not a lot of apartments in Gotham with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you, too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should... come stay with me. Uh... I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? 
I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. This really does have all the elements. I wouldn't be so confident if I were you, Oz. The show hasn't started yet. Maybe for you, but I've read your script, so I already know how this story is going to end. That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, and taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, oh, dear heart. Not even close. No one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps. But at least I, I keep like the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just the first step we towards making things Wayne right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. Pretty please. Turns out your dear mum found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine. Hill wasn't too keen on that idea, so he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way, and, well, you saw the rest, mate. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out. At a meeting, I was not invited to attend. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you. But I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. Unfortunately, the board is more concerned with good PR than they are with actual solutions. They don't care about making things right. They only care about what looks good. What are you doing? Thinks he's being cute is what he's doing. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, he is the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. It I did what I felt was right. So yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. Your very self That's not... Uh, uh, taken uh, over by another. I should know. I should know. I'm 
sure some of you remember the form of beauty of Colin You feel that? Park. Now That's the drug taking hold of you. And forgotten. Don't fight it. To the terrible you. That have happened to Gotham. You're with the children of Arkham. Of the dark no. City I am the children of Arkham. So many. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? Niggas that change them, uh, all of my old bitches hate us, uh, uh, they can't replace us, uh, I got so used to the love and the hate, nowadays none of it fades.